Hello and welcome. In today's video we will be cover how to synchronize the snake transform over the network. So we're gonna start off by making a new script or snake head. Let's go add component. We will call it just say online sync script. I don't know. And we're doing this in C sharp. Create an add. Wait for it to compile. Then we're gonna open it. Online sync script. Okay, first of all, we can delete this crap here. It's loading something. Okay, we're gonna start off with the void fixed fixed update loop. Now, actually, we're going to start off with a different one. It's going to be a photon method called void on photon ph ot on uh, serialize serialize view which accepts photon stream which we're going to name stream comma photon message info which is going to be info and open the brackets this is a built-in method which will observe this method when we assign it and it will exchange the info every second or the time we set it between info it will exchange the info in this what we put in here so we're gonna say if stream that is oops, if stream that is writing we have that and we have else which of course if we are reading from the other ones okay so what this asks if we are writing something to the network and this is if we are receiving something from the network and we're going to store the information into these variables we'll just name them private vector 3 real position like this, we're just gonna say vector 3 equals 0, I don't know. And the next variable we need is private quaternion, the actually quaternion, which will name variable real rotation equals quatern quaternion, the identity. And if we are writing, we want to send via stream our transform position and transform rotation. So we're gonna go stream dot send next and I add another piece of data and turn into its writing is true. Okay. So we're going to say send our snake head transform, which is going to be transform dot position. Close that up. The next one is going to be stream dot send next. And it's going to be transform the rotation. And in the if it's not writing, if we're receiving, we're gonna go ahead and say real position equals. We have to cast this into vector three, so we're gonna vector three stream the receive next parentheses closed. And in the next one line we have real rotation equals cast it to quaternion and we say stream dot receive next parentheses and close so with this we're actually sending our transform and receiving from others and in the fixed update loop we will do this a method called smooth movement smooth movement uh, like this, which is going to be void smooth moment, and in here we're going to slowly change from the current object uh, transform position to the wanted one. So I will explain it in a moment. So if photon view, we need to inherit the photon mono behavior, photon dot mono behavior bottom view that is mine we will do absolutely nothing for now and else if it's not mine 
I want that object to transform the position equals to vector three dot lerp from the transform the exposition comma um, real position. I want to let me. Oh, maybe because it's private. Let me try it this way. Okay, we'll do the private thing. Transform roll position, comma, time, delta time, times five, that's going to be enough. Transform the rotation equals quaternion, the lerp. Transform the rotation, real rotation, comma, time, the delta time, times five, close it up, and Okay, so what these lines of code do, they will actually synchronize the transform. So, if we have two players online, and if we are this player, it, it this act basically checks if mine, so if we are the main player on our computer, we will send our info, and the other player will execute this line of code, which will accept our real position and real rotation, and every few seconds it will, or milliseconds, it will change the update, it will update the real position and it, our or the other game object will be lerped towards it. Now the last thing we need to do in this is to set the void start method to put in here the exchange rate, so we're gonna go ahead and say photo network the send rate equals 20. We'll set it to 20 floats and photo network comma send rate on serialize. How many times serial should be called on photo views? We'll say 20 as well. I think this is pretty much enough. And if I were to run this, actually, does it say? Oh, it's an integer. Excuse me, there. This is an integer. So I will go ahead and build mine and I will show you in a few seconds what it looks like now. Okay, so I built mine and I will show you how it's going to look like right now. I'm gonna hit play. Maybe I should have done it earlier, but it's okay. Okay, so if I hit play and I hit play really quick here, something is not okay. Okay, I know what I forgot. We didn't observe the snake head. In the photo view we need to drag and drop our online sync onto the observe component. Set it to unreliable. I will build again. Okay so welcome back once again. If I hit start real quick you will see that our snakes actually do follow. I will move the bottom one up and down and you can see it moves. And if I circle it around, actually we're controlling both, but it works. And yes, as you can see, actually we have a problem with the camera since it's trying to follow the both main players. We will fix that later on, but the online synchronization works. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.